Chain, 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 chain. What? It's time for our next episode. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. everyone today is our episode four of our new series and we want to start out with saying happy fourth of july yeah <laughs> go america and fireworks we're very patriotic is that for you no, views of america don't do our views of america yes, this is our favorite holiday <laughs> i know and now we actually are carrying some american brands for a while we didn't carry anything made in america That's true. so we're actually we're really excited about carrying these new brands but what is this again? What is this? A talk show? It's our it's our early early late morning, morning, morning <laughs> late afternoon, <laughs> whenever we have time. We, whenever we have time, <laughs> we sit down. Talk whatever show. we have time to talk about. Okay. Before we get started, we wanted to uh, in our new episode, we wanted to introduce a new person sitting down with us. Hello, I'm Nate. If you send us an email, if you call, you'll probably be talking to me. I dare you to see how long it takes to get a response. I'm gonna challenge myself to email you back within 10 minutes so go ahead and send us an email see how long it takes if you go to our fancy website very high tech go to the contact us page whatever that's what you fill out whatever and this, I, this, you'll get a response from me this is this, this is the guy in the previous episode if you recall uh, is the one that's always telling me we need to redo our website because he doesn't think it's fancy and beautiful. So we are going, You've we are working on redoing we're working it. On it. We're working on redoing it. But yes, uh, this is Nate. We love Nate. We actually, um, most of us have him saved in our phone as Nate the Great because he's pretty, pretty incredible. So <laughs> I guess you should just call and find out. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. Today, the episode is going to be packed full of a lot of cool stuff. So you're going to want to watch it all the way through. We are going to talk about a new company that we signed. Speaking of new companies, and it's a local company here in Utah. We're really excited about them. We've been getting a lot of questions on YouTube about, you know, Opus, Zone, Bruder, Kedrins, and all these cool Australian brands. So we wanted to talk a little bit about some of these manufacturers that we've spoken with and why or why not we're going to be carrying them um also uh this last week i spent the entire week in wisconsin visiting the explore manufacturer very very cool uh stay tuned we're going to have some cool videos tours of that entire experience i'm really excited about that yeah i'm very grateful for that cheese you brought it was delicious <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> And then, so I ha we also in this episode, we're going to talk and show you a new upgrade we have for the Explorer. Stay tuned for that. It is amazing and a little fun. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next segment. Oh, and it's going to be about change. So I'm going to change it up today and go outside. Change. We're all about change here. We used to sell crappy old trailers like this not quite like this this is like from the 60s but we sold similar stuff you know not not really good not nice not quality but we've always want to change and improve and do things better so we went from this to this beautiful high-end off-road off-grid camper we are constantly in the pursuit of finding better it's been an evolution of change and progress right we've never been just satisfied with just doing one thing we always want to figure out how can we change how we can we improve what we're doing and yes we started out with cheap you know inexpensive american trailers and we slowly grew uh, all the way to the point where we were selling half a million million dollar motor coaches which are actually still to this day some of my favorite uh, campers and rvs of course it's different you know this is the type of thing that you're going to drive into a walmart parking lot or a koa you know and by nature we've always been off-road hiking campers you know and so we wanted something that was more designed for what we wanted to do and that's how we've evolved to um 
you know, smaller off-grid campers. But but it's always we're always asking ourselves, like, how can we find the next best thing? How can we make this better? You know, it's 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 all about change and it's all about improving what you're doing. You know, you can't you can't just get complacent with what you're doing. You can't just stop. Otherwise, there's no such thing as reaching to a point and stopping. What happens is when you stop, you start regressing and going backwards. So you always have to be improving. You always have to be trying to change what you're doing. Um, and if you don't, you're gonna you're gonna get complacent, and then you're not gonna grow. You're not gonna be truly innovating and bringing forth the best stuff in the world. And that's what we're that's what we're on the pursuit to find the best stuff in the world and it's it's always we're always looking to how can we make this better and it's not just the campers it's also the experience it's also our interaction with uh with our roamers with the people that we work with you know it's about going on adventures and doing rallies it's it's always about how can we make things better we fail a lot you know we fall on our face a lot and and the most important thing is like saying you get back up and say, what did I trip on? I better avoid that next time, right? You know, where did we, where did, what, what caught, caught us off guard, right? And let's make it better. Let's change what we're doing to make something better. This is part of our DNA and our mission statement. It is to change and change leads to progress and progress equals happiness. If you see somebody happy in life, it's usually because they're progressing. Do you see somebody that's not happy? There's usually a lack of progress. Oh, we're back here. Thanks for that awesome thought, Shane. No problem. We're going to go ahead with our Roamer updates. And Nate has something to share. We talk about this every day here at the shop. Whenever someone comes to visit and pick up their trailer, this is what we're talking about. The Roamer Rally. We are so excited. Me and Mike went down a, a couple weeks ago and scouted out the area. We camped and it is unbelievably beautiful. I was blown away. Just, I mean, I could spend a whole month just camping out there, just exploring the trails, seeing all the sights. We're so excited. So if you haven't signed up, sign up. Send us an email. You can email Josh. Or Angela. Or Angela. Too. Angela, so, yeah. So Angela is contacting people to get reservations, to get payment. So and should they call? Y yeah, call, yeah, yeah, call, yeah. Call, call, call the number or email Angela. Here's her email right here. Okay. Um, and just say, hey, you want to get your spot? We're over 100 people probably right now. Total, I think it's going to double or hope, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a neat opportunity to meet like minded people. It will be a, a trip you'll never forget. It will be something so memorable and a, a hopefully a new tradition for your family every year. Go yeah. to the Roma Rally. Yeah. And they're just going to get better and better every year. Definitely. I'm so excited. So definitely get in there. Uh, another thing that we want to talk about is the Hannons. Give a shout out to them. Yeah. Uh, hello from um, in Florida, right? And we wanted to show off your cool new uh, license Roamer plate and plate. swag. Yeah, the Romer plate. So we also realized that these are like special edition because you can only get one per state. <laughs> yeah. So one, uh, they got the first one in Florida and I'm going to try to go and reserve mine here in Utah <laughs> in the next little bit because I want, I want that license plate. So shout out to you guys. We love our roamers. Uh, that's we don't consider we don't call them customers. We don't call them clients. They're roamers, and we're it's a community of fun, adventurous, cool people. Really cool people. So, anyway, let's move on to our next segment about our products. For shot one, take one. This is very uh, uh, applicable. Applicable because it's a four one one, and we're going to give you some awesome information on the our products i'm going to start with explore talking about explore they've been doing a lot of awesome tests on the last few weeks yeah yeah for the last few weeks it has been pushing 100 degree temperatures every day outside here in utah and we've been running ac tests if you saw that video last sunday we did ac tests on off grid with generator then we did ac test off grid with the new lithium off-grid max package that was cool i mean if you watch that video if you didn't see that video last week you know go back watch it it was really cool uh we compared it with another trailer that had a 15,000 btu ac unit and that thing performed 
amazing. Like it turned on, turned off. On the Off Grid Max, it ran for over four hours, completely off of batteries. I am I'm more and more impressed with this trailer. The more we have it, the more I go in it, the more I use it. It's really well built. The, the insulation is just bar none. There's nothing like it on the market. The company is amazing. We've spent this entire week in Wisconsin with the owner, with the manufacturer. It's an incredible experience. We're gonna release a lot of that footage here in the next few weeks. Um, the more and more I work with these guys, the more and more I talk with them, I just think they're an amazing company. I really, really love the owners, the, the people there. And when you take care of your people and your business, that trickles down, right? All the way from the top. And it's always a reflection on your experience as a, as a customer, as a consumer, right? When you buy that product, they take care of you that way too. So I'm so impressed with this company. We love them so much that we are in the talks with them about building something together designing and building something together. Um, and, and the reason why we made that decision really is because one, we love them as a company and we want to work with them. And two, you know, the insulation properties, the, all of that stuff is just, it's the best out there. There's so much we love about the trailer. But we want to, we want to yeah. make it a little bit more like our own, a little bit more off-road capable, but with some of the incredible things that he's doing some of the materials and products he's using we want to kind of combine what we know and what they're doing together and make something pretty spectacular so you're gonna want to stay tuned for that don't if you haven't subscribed already you're gonna to want to is because this is going to be a journey of some really exciting stuff in the future so but let's move on into um we we mentioned at the very beginning we just signed up with a new this is an american company that the explorers but we got another american company here local 20 minutes away and <laughs> we're very impressed walking through their factory we were actually there yesterday or the day before getting our full tour um, training and we were filming a lot of stuff and they came out and they're like you guys can't be filming <laughs> they're just like if you show any of that footage make sure to tell us before because a lot of this is proprietary <laughs> we're like, okay, sounds good but we're really impressed with them they're awesome guys they just want to build quality trailers and it's a different demographic it's a different market than the Explorer and the Black Series they're a lot smaller lightweight but still super capable off-road. It's all about purpose, you know? Every yeah. trailer has a purpose. Exactly. Something and so that one's accomplish. driven more to a smaller vehicle because it's lighter yeah. and the trailer's smaller, so yeah. it potentially can get to some places that some trailers will never get. Yeah, and, yeah. and you could tow it with your Jeep. Yeah, so they're really awesome trailers. They have just about everything you'd need in any other trailer. And as usual, there's some things that we already have in the works to add to <laughs> it. Modifications. A couple upgrades. modifications yeah. and upgrades, as usual. So, so uh, yeah, and they're, it's really cool that they're a local company. One of the things that I liked about them is they're, they actually don't have... They're, they're a employee-owned company. And it's, that's pretty cool. It's unique, you know? Mm -hmm. So the entire... Uh, it's a group of guys that started this company, and it's kind of like... As they succeed, they all succeed, which is really cool. There's not like one person. It's unique. It's different. Yeah. But um, they, you can tell that like whether it's the guys welding, the guys assembling something, the guys in the office, like they're all very bought into their business and they're all very invested. It's not like I'm just an employee here getting paid whatever. You yeah, know, just a clock, clock in, clock out, out and, and that's it, you know. It's a very it's a very unique ex mm -hmm. like experience when you go down there and meet with them. It's so. awesome. And we're super excited. We got our first one and we're gonna go test it out this weekend. Yep. See yeah. What it's, see what it's capable of. Yeah, you saw you saw in the very beginning that was that trailer that flew by that Nate flew by in his new Tacoma and dusted us out. It, <laughs> it's a sweet looking trailer, so yeah. we're super excited about it. So uh, stay tuned for more of those videos. Um, what's our next on our product segment? Yeah, so we're gonna move on and talk about Black Series. As you know, we've been getting in so many Black Series. They're just rolling in, and we're trying to get them out as fast as possible and get all the upgrades done to them that we can. And we just wanted to just make everybody more aware. If you if you are an owner of a Black Series or you're waiting to get one or you bought one somewhere else, it, it doesn't matter where you are. Whether you have a Black Series or not, there's things that we want to add value and help you with. And really, for a lot of those DIYers out there that are trying to, you know, sometimes you need to fix things because there's no perfect trailer. 
yeah. things break. No yeah, matter no, what. Yeah, absolutely. And and since we essentially really are the first ones with Black Series, we've sold the most Black Series in America, we know more about them than anybody else. And we, yeah. we know the problems, we know the good things, the bad things, and we know how to fix a lot of the, the issues with them. And, and so we've decided that we're going to roll out a new you know mini series of videos uh, all on black series and this is going to be super super helpful it's going to add to um i think it's going to bring tremendous value not just for our roamers but for uh anybody who owns a black series you know black series has ramped up and they're selling a lot all over the country and a lot of the dealers that they're selling them through don't know anything about them they're brand new dealers and so we just wanted to create this series to bring value to everybody that owns a black series whether you're in our community as a roamer or not yeah. and so some of the issues we want to talk about some how to's some fixes one of the big issues that um a lot of people are having is some wood veneer and delamination or cracking on the cabinetry and so we're gonna we want to showcase that this will be coming up wednesday so stay tuned and you'll see the whole video on how to repair and fix this yeah, so. so we're going to show some of that. Josh kind of shows you how to take care of that. Very, very simple. And, you know, Josh himself will tell you if he can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> That's true. <He's, laughs> yeah, he, he says he's the least handy person in the world. So so we're, we're going we're gonna to showcase how to do it from the least handy person in the world. So if he can do it, you can do it. Um, and just as an, a side note, I do want, like, our roamers to know that before you pick up your trailer here, we typically spend 20 to 30 hours fixing some of these things before you ever get it. Our hope is to try to make it so our roamers don't have these experiences. But I know a lot of people out across the country are not. And some of our roamers, because sometimes yeah. it doesn't happen immediately. It happens after you use it for yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it happens. I mean, my trailer I've had for years and it has none, no issues with it. few cracks, but no, like, delamination. But so, so hopefully this will be a huge, huge value add for everybody that has a Black Series. Moving on to our last, let's talk about um, Taxa. Yeah, Taxa. So Taxa, there's a, there's a lot of things that I love about Taxa. One of the, my favorite things, and I wish every trailer could integrate this into it, because I dread packing for trips, <laughs> for camping, for anything. I don't like packing. Yeah, and we I have a video of it, and we yeah. should roll to it, right? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and roll that video, and I talk about all of this. Good morning, everybody. Who loves packing? Packing. Raise their hand. To be honest, I hate packing. When I was a kid, I actually missed out on some amazing camping trips because I wouldn't pack. I just, I wouldn't do it. I was like, no way, I'm not going. And today, now that I'm an adult, my wife does a lot of the packing, to be honest. But something's changed that. I'm okay with packing these days. And really one of the biggest reasons that I not like packing is just forgetting things, trying to fit everything in, and the trips back and forth, back and forth. I feel like I walk like miles in and out of the house, in and out of the garage, trying to get my trailer packed. Because you only can carry so many things at a time. So there's a solution. And the solution that has been given to all of us is from Taxa in the Mantis. Let me show you what I am talking about. I'm super excited. I'll show you. Let's go on inside and see how Taxa has made my packing nightmare. Not so bad, actually quite enjoyable. Let's go check it out. In the Taxa, in the Mantis, they have some very awesome storage solutions. So actually use kind of these milk crates and they're just, they're just bungeed in. So it's very simple, super easy. And the thing that makes it easy for my packing is I literally undo these things, pull the crate out, and then I just take the crate inside my house and fill it up and then come back out. So like I, it eliminates my trips insanely. So many less trips. I can just grab each thing, go in the kitchen, get all the food, get clothes, everything. And there, there's, there's a ton of these things. There's a couple there. You know, there's three that go there. 
three go over there one big one here and a couple under the bed makes it super easy so i'm gonna go inside and just fill this up make it super fast the other thing that i really like i can back right up to my garage grab all my camping gear as well real close and mostly for in the back is the back flips open and i grab all my sleeping gear and just throw it right under the bed and i can access a lot of the under storage here for other things that go right underneath the bed so it's nice because i got two doors one here and one on the other side in the front so it makes it really easy just to pack this thing and like i said that's one of my biggest things that i don't like doing is packing so it may sound silly but you know some of you probably relate so i'm gonna go inside and fill this thing up check this out literally one trip into the kitchen i got all the dry food i need so now i can just pick this guy up and it's always easy to fire with two hands and just slide it right in look at that even do it one-handed so yep just kidding on the two hands super awesome now i'm just gonna go grab these totes go fill them up with clothes love it i actually like packing now one of my favorite things i think of the mantis is their storage setup so super cool gonna get all ready then we're gonna head down and do some awesome recon down around Romerland for our Romer Rally. Stay tuned. Crikey! Oh, yeah, we've just been out in the bush. And today we're gonna see if we can find some new species, some new innovative animals out in the wild. <laughs> oh look, there it is in its natural habitat. Crikey. There it is, I've spotted the great white water tank. Let's see if we can get a little closer, shall we? Don't want to spook it. I got it! You know, more people in Australia and the outback die of dehydration than great white attacks. Dude, Jordan, what are you doing with that? Oh, hey. Well, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Let's, <laughs> let's, uh, let's do a mod. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. So oh, that was a uh, that was pretty intense. <laughs> it was. I was not gonna be able to capture that white water tank on my own. I had to enlist help with from Jordan Andrew, the guys behind the cameras, to okay. be able to kind of capture that guy. So so is it is it tamed? Like is ah, it, is it we're, in the we're in the process of taming that thing, getting it to stay where it needs to be. Gonna have to get some custom welded straps to be able to get it to stay where we want it oh underneath the trailer okay yeah that's pretty cool and that that tank is a fully custom tank you can't just go and like you get can't it no you can't right? get anywhere i i tried to find somebody <laughs> out there to manufacture one for me or if there were any that were a size that would actually fit in there because it's very specific for height and it's just it's not a common size so i actually had to find a custom so it's, a, it's very welder. rare it's very rare it is rare and that's why it took you know a group of people to actually get it <laughs> yep. and and we got it in there so that's a really cool one um quite frankly the the tank size in the explorer to me is absolutely not good stock out of the box right that's the number one yeah, it's a concern, you know. Yeah, like, it's only going to, you know, if you're taking showers and you're doing all that kind of stuff, you're only going to last a day or two. And if you want to yeah, take well, longer trips, you just have to have more water. Yeah, and if you're going off-grid, that's what you want. Like, yeah, you want to last longer. The biggest longer. thing that's going to prevent you from staying off-grid or staying out and having fun is running out of water, yeah, right? Yeah, it's filling up or dumping. Yeah. And they've taken care of the dumping part because they have dry flush toilets. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's really cool. But the, the, the filling up, the water... It's it's an issue, and really that tank well, it can only be gotten here yeah. at our way. Yeah. We're the only one in the country that have custom built a tank for it. Probably that will work. Taking us a hundred hours already. Yeah, yeah we've spent so much time. Yeah, it, it takes a lot. So of time much time. It does. To do these at least a hundred. And that's not the first yeah. tank we caught. 
I caught like three or four other pinks, <laughs> and, and they were and they were too small, or yeah. their little runs had to let them back. Really yeah, back it, just, the wild. it just didn't. Yeah, it just didn't <laughs> work, right? It does take a lot, and I don't think people realize like that. That's what we're always trying to do is just bring more value and make make your experience in your camper or trailer ownership better and it doesn't like it it would be way easier for us to just get things and just sell them but we want to get them and improve them and and that's the whole that's the whole reason why you know our thought today was on change is because we want to change things and make them better and improve them and and it makes for a better end user experience so now let's let's head on into our new section our q a's we got a lot of cool questions coming from people out there so let's get into that As one of our first questions, I want to ask you, what is the number one question that you get asked on a daily basis? I think the number one question is regarding tow vehicles and what what it's capable of. Either they don't have a truck and they say, Nate, what truck should I get to tow this trailer? Or, hey, Nate, I have this vehicle and I want to tow this trailer. Is that a good idea? Those every single day. Without a doubt, that's the number one question. A- absolutely, I think when I uh, when I'm taking calls, that's the exact same question that I get more often than not. And I will tell you that it seems that more people, the majority of people, want to tow a larger trailer than they should with the vehicle they want to purchase or mm-hmm. currently own. I would say it's a huge percentage of people with underrated vehicles trying to tow trying too to push large it to the max. push push yeah. it to the max and you never it's, want to push any vehicle to the max you have working it at the max all the time it's going to wear your vehicle out mm-hmm. it's not as an enjoyable experience driving it oh, sometimes no. it's more white knuckle because you're pushing yeah. it as hard as you can the engine's revving like crazy it's dangerous and yeah it can be dangerous it's you, dangerous you drive down the freeway you see these trucks that are, are squatting because they're have an off-road truck <laughs> pulling a 40-foot <laughs> toy hauler and it just it's bad uh, it's well uh, quite frankly it's also against the law um yeah. there are weight of, weight yeah. ratings on your truck you get in an accident and, and you're, you're over right weight you're, yeah you're in big trouble yeah. yeah a lot of people so you have to you have to take into your your door tags and you just got to read your, through your manuals and your door tags there is a gross combined vehicle rating and a lot of people are out on the roads towing over that yeah. Yeah. and like michael said you get in a car accident your insurance company will actually find out and go through it and if 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 you're over your weight limits you might be in big trouble so it, it's it's not safe it's dangerous technically <laughs> i mean it, it's it's against the law you know especially in certain states but what I, a good rule of thumb and as a disclaimer this is, all this, opinions. Is, <laughs> this is a very heated topic because I hear people say all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. I have people, unfortunately, a lot of salesmen of trailers will tell you, oh, you'll be fine. Oh, that's fine. What's your trailer, what's your truck rated for? Oh, 10,000 pounds. You can tow a 10,000 pound trailer. You'll be fine. And it's like, no, 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 no. That's just a guy trying to sell a trailer. And unfortunately, and sometimes it's just knowledge too. They may not, they really may not actually understand this. Yeah, they just haven't learned it, so they just go, "Oh, well, the number says you can do it. Yeah. You can do it." Yeah, don't fall victim to the marketing, you know, of these Toyota and all these manufacturers. They're very competitive. Yeah, they want to have the highest tow rating, and the, you might see commercials of them towing a huge trailer or a. Plane. Oh yeah, you have you have Toyota Tundra <laughs> was pulling a seven what 747 or something in its yeah. day and so people are like that you you google it and that weighs 250,000 pounds and then recently Ford did one where they're pulling a freight train and it's like a million pounds <laughs> and it's just like like think about this like you can you can go and on a flat surface you can push a trailer that weighs 2,000 pounds all by yourself if, yeah. if it's on a flat surface that doesn't mean you can drag a trailer up a mountain pass you know it's it's silly but so there are some marketing out there that makes people think oh my truck can do this yeah but a good rule of thumb is going to be kind of what what would you follow by michael i mean typically i like to to keep if you can do it you keep somewhere you know 50 to 70 percent of your rating so if your truck's rated for ten thousand pounds if you pull a five thousand to seven thousand pound trailer 
that's a better place be because it leaves you yeah. some margin, you know, for and that way your engine's not working at max and your suspension isn't getting maxed out. Yeah. So that way it's just more comfortable, it's safer, it's just better, you know. Yeah, you can do it. I can go out and run probably 10 miles today, but I'll be dead. I'll fall down and I won't walk tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like uh lifting weights, you know. Yeah, I can curl a 50-pound dumbbell, you know, and once then you or pull twice, your muscle, you know, and pull a muscle, <laughs> right? It, you know, it's a, your truck just because it says it can tow 10,000 or 13,000 pounds doesn't mean you should be trying to tow 10,000 or 13,000 pounds. You definitely want to go way below that. You know, we have people coming in all the time. We have a trailer that's 7,000 pounds and they're like, my vehicle says it can tow 7,500 pounds. So they're going to try to do this and they attempt. And some people get by doing some of that stuff, but it's not, it's not recommended and it's not safe. It's always to have, it's always better to have more power it's going to create more stability in towing braking right if your truck is heavier than your trailer you know it's going to brake easier when you're coming down hills when your trailer gets so heavy and when you start climbing dropping down hills that trailer is going to push you and it's dangerous it's scary it's not it's not fun to be in those situations so um what other questions do we have well we have a question from youtube question this is from autumn sword and their question is trying to discern the right purchase for me how does the quality and innovations of Bruder compare to explore Mm. that's a great question it is a great great question question. now as a disclaimer we don't carry Bruder and we've never had one and we've never never had had one one. (laughs) Um, now we have actually talked to a few Bruder owners Um, we have actually talked to Bruder about carrying their products too after this question I do want to talk about we've talked with a lot of manufacturers all around the world and, and so it's it's hard to say i know for sure bruder they tend to focus really a lot on their suspension yeah their suspension looks amazing it looks amazing you know from our observation it looks really really cool um one of the inherent flaws in most of the australian african caravan and campers that they make is is weather right um, so if, if we're trying to compare quality with Explore versus, say, a Bruder or any, any Australian or African company, when it comes to insulation, like... Well, it's because they don't need it. That's they don't why need they it. Focus it's on purposeful. Like yeah. we said before, like this new um, trailer that we've picked up, too, it has a different purpose. Yeah. And in Australia... Why would I do all this insulation? It would help with heat, but again, why no, do I but, but, spend but all this heat, money on insulation? Heat is the roof, yeah. right? If you have a good, you know, and some of the Australian trailers have really good walls and ceilings yeah. to keep the cool air in, but yeah. y- you don't, don't do too much with the floor. The, the under the underbelly, the floor, they put their water tanks out there. The pipe, the pipes are out yeah. there, and why would you enclose all of that? if it's not freezing where you live, right? If it yeah. almost never freezes, you don't need to focus on those no, things. No, you don't. It's just extra work for no reason for them in those in those that's in those countries. Here in North America, from Canada all the way to Arizona and Texas, it can freeze. Yep. Right? And so it's more rare in some of our southern states, but still you can get below freezing in almost every 50 state of America, uh, some spot or another. And and so we, as an, as an industry of a whole, we design trailers differently. So if you're looking for the, like your use, you know, um, autumn, right, right? If your use is like, I want to go winter camping. Well, then an Explorer is going to be way better than anything mm-hmm. else, you know, any Australian trailer you import. And, and also, the, you know, obviously the size, you know, that's kind of one of the things that we've heard from actual owners is it's very, it's very, you know, overland, off-road, off-grid, but you're, you're outside. It doesn't have a huge indoor space like, say, an Explorer would have. You know, the Explorer, you could live in the Explorer. You have four people in there and yeah, hang out. And- comfortably. Yeah, I'm not, not four people living in there. Not no, living. four people. Yeah, if it's <laughs> raining outside. Yeah, see, that's that's the thing. You know, and have and we've had people. we've had I've had six people yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, just hanging out and yeah. sitting sitting around, and so it's it's there's a lot more space in that that trailer for sure. So it's a very different trailer. Yeah, I don't feel like. I honestly, I don't feel like it's a good comparison, really, to make. Yeah, um, and I think they like some manufacturers make a good discernment, like they have campers and caravans. You know, like yeah. this is a brooder's more of a camper, and a camper is more like 
camping style, which camping is your outside. Yeah. But they give you a nice place to go in. In case there's terrible weather, you can get it inside. Or for sleeping, you go inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But everything else is done outside. Your but kitchen's a, a outside. A caravan and all that kind of stuff. or a travel trailer typically is going to be more of a larger, you know, camper that's going to give you more space to go yeah, more inside. Yeah, yeah, more livable too, yeah. right? If that's what you're looking, if you're trying to hit the road for months at a time, you're going to want something bigger, right? That's I think that's a mistake that people make. They they start sometimes start too small, and they realize if if you're traveling cross country and living and doing all of this new, you know, boondocking and working and traveling, you, you want something a little bit bigger, you know. Um, but another good question that we've been getting a lot, and we just want to talk about this for a little bit, is. We're kind of already talking a little bit about it, but um, camper companies, right? Because a lot of people make comments about like, well, um, you guys mentioned Opus and then you never carried it. Yeah. Or um, why don't you guys carry Zone or Kedrin or Bruder? And and there's a lot of different companies in Australia. I, I want to like, first, first of all, point out a, f- a few things. Everybody does feel like the grass is greener on the other side, right? <laughs> right? Everybody feels like, oh, those trailers in Australia are 10 times better. Or those trailers in... Africa are 10 times or Europe are 10 times better. The U.S. trailers are terrible, right? Something like that. Which there's some truth. There's some truth. The, the, the trailers in America have, you know, the manufacturing industry has not been doing the best work. The standard is a lot lower. The yeah. standard is a lot lower. Now, having said that, there are some phenomenal American companies that make great products for sure and same in other countries and some of the points are just different you know like some of the stuff in australia and we get some of these trailers there's things we're like this is amazing and there's a couple things it's like america actually does that better yeah well for example what we were just talking about the insulation if you go and buy a twenty thousand dollar cheapest trailer run of the mill in america it's going to actually have better insulation than a hundred and fifty thousand dollar trailer in australia and the reason why is because it's the way they design it. Yep. They put the water lines above the floor where heat is running and it keeps them warm, right? So it, it's the design. It, you're going to get a superior insulated trailer in America than you will almost anywhere else. Um, so, so like, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Now, what's really cool here at ROA is we've kind of evolved from cheap trailers to nicer trailers, fifth wheels, to these beautiful high-end motorhomes, which still to this point, point in time i think they're the best built best quality um anything that falls under a recreational vehicle camper rv i think they're the best in the world like these 500 to a million dollar motor coaches monaco and uh, newmar i think they're better than anything i've ever seen even all the australian campers and caravans the reason why we love why we went to these caravans the australian ones is because we're like these are similar to these really high-end motorhomes that we sell, right? A lot of the qualities and the components they use. And for us, too, it's um, purpose. Yeah. We like, we like to be more, more off-road, yeah. Yeah. off-grid, where a 30-foot motorhome doesn't do that too well. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. You're, you're pretty much in KOAs and uh, Walmart parking lots and a giant motorhome like that. You're very limited. And we, we love the off-road. We love the outdoors. And so what we've been you know on seeking is like what... What can get us more off-grid, more off-road, deeper into the woods, and still be very good quality? You know, still be like those really nice, expensive motorhomes. And and so a lot of those products are in Australia, even though, you know, there's some design flaws when it comes to cold weather. And so essentially what we're working on is trying to find campers that um, we can use in the U.S. market in cold weather, but also have and maintain that same quality that you see in the nice caravans of Australia and the nice motorhomes of America. And, and so we have reached out to almost every single one of these companies in Australia. Yeah, we've had conversations with a lot of them. Yeah. And there's just a lot to understand when you're looking at businesses. You know, they're out there in their country working a business and to come to America is extremely expensive for them and potentially for us because a lot of them are like, well, that's a big commitment. Well, will you make a big commitment to me? Yeah. Will you order a hundred of these? Yeah. That, here, commit to twenty million dollars a year, and then we'll come out there and start making them for you, right? Um, or we'll work something out with you. So everybody's like, "Why don't you guys go sign these people? Why don't you go get this trailer? This trailer is really cool." And and so like, 
the things that you got to understand is some of these, like they use a full uh, a, a molded fiberglass piece that costs them hundreds of thousands of dollars, but it's all made for Australia, the left side instead of the right side. Um, they use different electrical, they use different gases, right? So it's not just a matter of like, oh, just ship it over here and we'll, and, and we'll buy it, right? It's a matter of like hundreds like of a new thousands trailer. of dollars like a new trailer. in redesign, re-engineering, coming into the US, you have... You have you have RVIA, you have Department of Transportation in America. There's a lot of things that are different, and you have to overcome a lot of these things. And and, and so that's it. Is we've talked with some of them, and they're like, you know what? Honestly, um, like Kedrin is like they're back ordered over a year. They are selling. They're like we, our demand is so high out here. Like we don't need to like jump over the seas and start selling stuff. Is because we're 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 busy. We got a yeah. good profitable operation here in australia and like you know so like and one of the things that i have noticed just in the united states we are very much a entrepreneurial country industrial. right we're very yeah. industrial very entrepreneurial we're, we're all about grow 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 get bigger and 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 do more and and change and progress and 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 so that's sometimes you know uh some of the things that i feel like we run into is like you know they're they're pretty happy with what they're doing over there and we're like okay so you know, and some of them are like really excited about coming, and and we have been talking with them. Um, Opus Opus is one that's in the U.S., and we actually were going to carry them a while ago, and we had some conflicts with uh, regions and other dealers yeah, carrying just it. Didn't work out. Didn't work out, unfortunately. Right? You know, we were really excited. I actually drove out to their manufacturer in California, met with the owner, spent a whole day there. Was really excited about carrying the products really excited about working with them um and there was some regional conflicts and it was really frustrating that it didn't you know spent a lot of time to try to do that um we really do invest a lot into our manufacturers because we want to know the most and and bring that to you and but we're trying to align our values with their values and our values are you know the roamers the customers are number one right um warranty has to be high on the top a high priority list for them right you, you, like one of the things that I'm always looking for when I'm talking to these people is like, are you, are you fanatical about your owners? Like, do you move heaven and earth for the people that buy your trailers? Right. And if I have this feeling that mm, they're kind of like, you know, more focused on the sales opposed to like the service, that's a big red flag for us. And we're like, you know, we really, we want to align with the company in that sense that's very very important to us um and so sometimes that will be a you know a stop in progressing and trying to get the relationship going but I, and i'm not saying it's any specific one like this but that's definitely something that we focus on a lot and that's why we're so excited about explore that is because we feel like they're really really you know they align with us very well. They align with us very well. They they love on their people that buy their trailers. Um, I'm I'm really excited about this new company for sure. Right, also very cool. So, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please comment. Tell us what you want us to do in the future. Questions? Anything you want to see? This is hard for us to do these videos. We've got a lot going on, but we know that it's important. So whenever we have time, we try to do these videos. But it's it's more worth it if you ask us questions and show us what you want us to do. Absolutely, and we uh, yeah we we're, we're, we came in early today, right? And so we're not even technically doing it during working hours, <laughs> but we really want to engage with everybody. You know, we want to engage with the marketplace. We want to know what you guys want to see, and and we're all about change. So if there's something you don't like about the format, the way we're doing it, if you want more engagement, if you want us to do, you know, we try to change it up a little bit here and there and just let us know what you like, what you don't like, if you have questions about things, and we will try to answer yeah. all the questions. The whole point of this is to bring the most value that we can to you. And if this is valuable, we want to know. And if not, let's change it and make it valuable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can participate in this entire experience. So uh, don't forget to, uh, you know, do all those good things. Subscribe. Like. Like. The notification bell. Oh, yeah. And we'll see you on our next episode. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.